friends how are you as per request from my friends i today i just making the video uh, preparing the video in english so uh, today's topic is about current transformer testing the different type of test you have to done on current transformer to sanguine that the current transformers is conditions in good conditions or in uh, bad conditions so if the transformers in good conditions and good parameters you will get then obviously you can put the transformers on service so what is current transformer first you have to know the current transformers is being used for the measurement of current in online conditions and it is being installed in the series with the fetch or line to getting the flowing or catering of current passing through the particular phases so let us discuss about our testing that test is very important for the current transformers identifications of conditions so the first test is the ir test what is ir ir is the insulation resistance test by help of the insulation resistance test you can be uh, sanguine that the current transformers conditions is suitable for sustaining the installed capacity voltage we are using the current transformers in 11 kv 33 kv 132 kv 220 kv 400 kv 765 kv and 1000 kv voltage level so i have drawn a pictures of current transformers here the primary is p1 and p2 and secondary is 1s1 1s2 2s1 2s2 and so on as per our requirements and utilizations the core will be increased suppose we are using here the two core city three core city four core city five core city depend on the requirement and the protections increase you have to increase the core of the transformers so the first core of the transformers is being used for the metering and from the second core it is bring for the protection purpose so let us discuss about the ir test first we have to take a digital mager or hand mager what is suitable for you and you have to measure the insulation resistance in between the primary and r what is uh, you are bring install the ct on the structure the structure is permanently earth by the flat 56 66 75 8 all different types of flats is being used for earth of the permanent earthing uh, of the structures in between the earthing point or flat and p1 or p2 side you will get the primary to earth resistance insulation resistance then after you are um, uh, by help of the 2.5 kb 5 kb 10 kb mega depend on the voltage level you can use different types of mega because in the digital mega different knobs are present as per your choice you can select the 2.5 5 or 10 kb the second is the primary to secondary primary to secondary because the secondary uh, core is uh, low voltage or low current a low um, current sensing uh, material there so you have to do the uh, insulation test by help of the uh, 500 volt mega in the case of the ct and pt you have to use the uh, insulation you have to do the insulation resistance by help of the 500 volt mega it should be remembered so primary to secondary you have to measures then um, as per the secondary um, uh, core is distributed 1s1 1s2 but tapping 1s1 1s2 1s3 2s1 2s2 2s3 3s1 3s2 3s3 4s1 4s2 4s3 5s1 5s2 5s3 
if the five code is present if the two code is present as per our examples this the first code this the second code all are the tappings the tappings are just outing from here the first tap second tap third tap the tappings are just outing from here you have to measure the resistance between the 1s1 1s2 1s2 1s3 2s1 2s2 2s2 and 2s3 so by help of measuring the insulation resistance you can sanguine that the resistance is suitable or not as per the manufacturer's guideline if the secondary to earth and then the then you have to uh, uh, you, you have to done the insulation resistance of secondary to earth this is the secondary point in between earth and secondary each any amount of leakage currents or any amount of current is flowing in between the secondary and the earth you have to measure and you have to sanguine that no current is flowing so you can use this city the second test is winding resistance test the winding resistance is deteriorated and decreases its value by help of the aging suppose you are installed a ct 2009 while uh, you measure as per the example is concerns you are just measuring the winding resistance is 60 mega ohm after a uh, few years 2012 you are again measuring the winding resistance 57 mega ohm again 2016 55 again 2020 52 2023 during the pre puja you are measuring the winding resistance is 30 ohms as per our graph the resistance is just decreasing in nature that means the deteriorations inside the winding resistance is just Uh, decreasing in nature so uh, as per uh, uh, consultations with the consult testings you can obviously change the city for the betterment for the protections of the other instruments and the um, uh, technical personnel uh, who are uh, just posted in the substations for operations purpose or maintenance purpose so it is very important to regularly check the winding resistance during the maintenance time for sanguine that this city can be uh, put it to the service or not or it can be replaced as per the uh, as per the result will be there next test is about the polarity test polarity polarity means the point uh, you are just uh, putting the point in the right directions and your protection zone you are selecting your protection zone so P1 and P2 are the primary indications of the city. P1 and P2, as per the P1, P2, you have to put the S1 and S2. So, uh, by help of a nine volt battery, small battery, nine volt small battery, you are just connecting the positive point to the P1 side and negative point to the P2 side. I try to draw a uh, pictures for your uh, better understanding. and from the s1 and s2 you are taking a galvanometer and from uh, p1 and p2 you are connecting as per the pictures is given here and you can see the red marks uh, the positive point here two two are the red mark because it's it is the single uh, p1 and p2 are connected in between so for starting from the positive and it is just uh, rotating and connecting to the negative when uh, when you make the positive point this galvanometer's indications will go to the clockwise directions clockwise directions when you just break i will tell break then these ports will be out from here and the galvanometer indications will uh, again back to the zero point so uh, we will sanguine that the city uh, polarity is in right conditions and right directions if you are uh, touching the positive point and galvanometers uh, just going to the anti clockwise directions anti clockwise directions and when you break the zero positions uh, you will be sanguine that the conditions or the protection or the polarity is not right conditions or right direction so you have to change the p1 p2 connections the wrong connections you have put it or s1 s2 connection you have to check after checking the connections you are again do the polarity test if you get the 
clockwise direction deflections then that will be sanguine the polarity test is good and you can put the city in service the next test is the knee point voltage is very important the knee point voltage is is that point of voltage beyond this voltage you will get the saturated city the condition of the city will be saturated so in the metering type and the production type two type of cities we are being used here the um, accuracy class 0.55 p10 and the ps is given here so vk vk is the knee point voltage ps score they are get at the get up then 200 volt i have drawn a pictures here p1 and p2 is the primary and s1 s2 is the secondary i connected with the secondary a variac variac and um, uh, just variac 2 point we are connecting a voltmeter and uh, from the s1 uh, connected wire we are connecting a clamp type meter and uh, just we are increasing the voltage uh, we just uh, put the 20 a volt and uh, 20 volt here and we are just uh, measuring the current current is 0.1 ampere suppose then 40 here we are just uh, increasing the voltage to the 40 and we are getting the current from here 0.2 60.3 80. Point, uh, 4 and if the uh, vk is given here knee point voltage 200 we are putting here the 200 volt so 200 volt we are getting suppose 0.8 or 0.9 or 1 ampere and uh, then we are increasing the voltage to the 10% 10% increasing the voltage if we are increasing the voltage 10% that means the 200 200 uh, 20 volt here and we are getting the abstract current 50% increase of the current that means the saturation point has reached so beyond this voltage the saturated city will be there if the saturation of the city will be there you will not get any protection you will not get any metering because the saturated city secondary will be the output will be zero so this test is very important in nature so if you do this test you can obviously check that the manufacturer's guideline or given knee point voltage is right or wrong and you have to put your protection in between the 200 volt as per the given vk so friend uh, thank you for very much for watching my video if you interested please share my video and subscribe my channel for more or uh, updated technical video thank you thank you very much for updating my video thank you very much